Mike here with PhD, and one of our employees got in their Kickstarter copy of Blood Rage from Cool Mini or not. We just wanted to open it up and show you guys everything that's inside of this big box. So you notice the artwork is all around the box, and it's all great artwork. And it's all done by Adrian Smith. You're familiar with him from doing some other Cool Mini or Not projects. He did some guest art boxes for Zombicide. And you're also familiar with a game designer, Eric Lang, who's very famous doing a lot of other games for Cool Mini or Not and other publishers. Now let's open up this big box and uh, check out what's inside. Uh, other cool thing is all the miniatures were done by Studio McVeigh, so you know they're all just going to be absolutely top notch. All right, so off the top, you got the rule book. Nice big rule book, lots of colors, lots of diagrams, easy to help you learn the game, and it's filled all the way through with artwork from Adrian Smith as well. The other thing right on top are these cool little discs. You notice they're different colors, one for each of the clans. So when you paint your miniatures, you don't have to paint them all yellow or blue or red. You just paint them how you want, stick the base on the bottom, and now you know that clan belongs to the bear clan or the raven clan or whatever clan you want it to be. So the first tray of miniatures here is a bunch of uh, infantry soldiers for each of the clans. I don't know if that'll focus on there for you really well. We got one big tray filled with miniatures. We got one tray here that has uh, some of your cards for gameplay and some of your uh, uh, glory tokens, I believe they're called. Another tray here. Now you'll notice there's some two different colored miniatures in here. You got gray and you got uh, this pink brown color. Your brown color are your regular clan uh, miniatures, and the gray miniatures are your monsters, who can also work for you as well. Uh, and then there's really cool boat miniatures that you can see uh, for each fact, each clan. The only difference is they have different color sails, so you know whose boat is whose. There's another tray of miniatures. Now we're getting some of the bigger miniatures. These miniatures are really cool. Uh, you got a big old kraken. You got a troll, I guess, of some kind. I'm not exactly sure. Let's put that right there. I'm starting to run out of room. There's so much stuff here. Uh, last tray of big miniatures here. You got this gorilla with a giant flaming sword and this uh, frost giant. Really cool miniatures. Studio McVeigh does, you know, they really only do one thing, and that's good. Uh, you got some other toe, other cardboard in here. You got your clan boards right here. There's for your player tableaus. You got a sheet of cardboard tokens, some coins, and uh, some other tokens that you need. And this is your progress board for measuring out how long the game is going to be. And then inside, this is pretty cool what they did. There's a little cardboard uh, framework in there because the board is a little smaller than the game box. So they put that in there so when you shake it around or it's shipping, the board won't get messed up. So let's go ahead and take this board out. Oh, good shipping design there. Put the empty box there. You notice there's artwork all around the inside of the box as well. And let's get this board out and open. And voila! Blood Rage from Cool Mini or Not.